everyone, it's Georgia and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing okay. So today we have the start of the Devon vlogs. I've been saying in all the videos I've been so excited for the Devon vlogs because this is basically our main holiday of this year. Mexico got cancelled, but I mean we came to Devon, so I'm so excited for the week and we have a little cottage we're going to tomorrow. Um tonight we're in Plymouth for one night in a hotel. Um and then tomorrow we're going to our little cottage. So yes, welcome to the first Devon vlogs. I feel like there'll be like a couple. Not really too sure how many, but this is definitely number one. So if you're new here and you've just found me by clicking on this video, then I'd love you would stick around, join the little family and subscribe. We're almost at one year on YouTube and I have a very exciting surprise for that. So definitely stick around if you don't want to miss that. And let's just get on with the Devon vlog. Okay, so I've already actually done my makeup earlier. This is how my hair turned out. I actually quite like it. Like it went quite big. I feel like it's because it's been in literally since eight in the morning it's now like six ish so yeah it's been in a long time but i'm now just gonna touch up my makeup i'm not gonna fully redo the whole thing i'm just gonna touch up is the size of my case for like five days it's literally as big as me it's a bit dramatic but i want to show you some of my new fave things i've brought with me as well because i ordered a few bits before i came but i hope everybody is doing okay hope you're having a nice week weekend i don't know when this is going up probably like tuesday or thursday so hopefully you're having a nice week so far we're going out for a meal tonight at um this like thai place it's called sufas i'll like show you where we go later and what i have but i've seen they have pad thai and pad thai is just my all-time favorite meal probably ever so i always feel like foundation like i don't know i feel like foundation and lashes are the thing that i'm like that is that makes such a difference Anyway, I'm going to catch up with you when I'm done, like I said, before I rumble on for the next 24 hours. Okay, I'm now all ready. I've got this little top on, which is from Boohoo. It has like puffy sleeves and then these shorts, they're kind of like long-ish shorts. They're from Zara. I feel like we just need to go now. But yeah, I'll see you out when we get there. So we're in the restaurant, it's called Sufas, and I've just ordered a Mai Tai. I'm gonna do a taste test. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's really strong. That's very strong. What would you like to say? Come on, just say what, say your piece. I'm in Sufas, I'm in a pair. <laughs> very nice, very nice indeed. So I've had the Pad Thai with chicken and prawns, it literally looks so nice. So we're now back in the hotel room. I'm literally sat like in front of the curtain because it's giving me good light. So I just thought I'll take it. But I've just been to Sufas and it was literally so nice. The cocktails there as well were literally amazing. So if you do come to Plymouth ever, then I would definitely recommend there because it was literally so nice. We haven't had like a late, late one. Just because we are driving tomorrow, obviously to our actual apartment, which I'll show you in the vlog tomorrow. But yeah, we are driving pretty early. I think we're going to go to Selcombe on the way, which I'm really excited about because I've seen a few people go there on Instagram. It looks really cute. So yeah we're going there tomorrow and we're gonna have breakfast and we're going to Salcombe and then we'll go to our little apartment which i'll show you tomorrow so yeah so i've got my disney pajamas to put on and some twirls perfect night so it's our first full day i don't know if i like this headband on or not but we're going to Salcombe today which is a little like seaside town and i'm literally so excited i'm gonna do my makeup in the car because this is not a vibe and look at my tan compared to my face but i've got this little top on from zara which is like a little puffy top and then these shorts again from zara We've just got to Salcombe, but it's like really cute little houses, they're all different colours, so yeah, we're just going to breakfast. I'm literally so hungry, as always. <laughs> yeah, we're just trying to find somewhere to get breakfast now. Literally the cutest place ever. So we're just getting lunch slash breakfast, because it ended up being quite late. But we're getting a little sausage sandwich, just by the beach, it's quite cute. <laughs> Got an ice cream, got honeycomb, it's so good. So we just got to the apartment and it's actually really cute but we can't get in so we're just waiting for the lady to come and let us in but it looks really cute here. It's like such a nice little apartment and it's really like aesthetic, like all the houses are really pretty, they have little coloured doors. So cute. I'm gonna give you a little tour when we actually get in, but there's also some really good photo locations like the doors, all the colored doors, little steps here. 
so cute. Okay, so we're finally in and it's literally so, so cute. I'm gonna give you a little tour just because I wanna show you around. But yes, we've just got it. It's the cutest thing outside. It's like a little seaside cottage and I'll sh show you around. It has like all these wooden beams, like it's kind of old fashioned. But so we've got a little TV over here, little mirror, even though I actually have brought my own bit extra. But yeah, we've got a little fireplace, which is really cute. And then it's just so nice. Like it's really nicely decorated. I really love it. And then it has a really cute little kitchen. Um, yeah, so it's just like that. And then we've got a few sofas. So we've got a sofa here and then two little chairs. But yeah, it's a really, really cute little place. And we have a little garden. I'll take you out to the garden. I haven't actually been out yet, but we can have a look. Yeah, so this is the garden. We've got like a little shed. We've got a little bench and we've also got this little table where we can have like barbecues and stuff but the garden's literally huge and our house is lilac, it's so cute. I'm gonna go down and show you the bedrooms now as well. Oh, it's literally so cute. So this is the one big bedroom with like a double bed and everything. It's really cute in here and they've got little towels, little chair, how cute is this? Nice little dressing table. And then this is the room I'm in. There's like two, there's a single bed there. Then I like a mini little kind of dressing table area, I guess. It's really cute. And then there's another bed here. So yeah, it's just so cute. I love this room so much. And this is the little bathroom. It's really tiny, but it's really cute. So we're in, I'm just about to unpack. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I feel like I'm gonna unpack my stuff now just because when I say I've packed a lot, like I've packed for like a three week holiday and we're here for like five days, no four days, so. Yeah, I mean, I always overpack. It's just a little thing of mine. It's not good, but I'm gonna unpack now. I think I'm gonna show you some of the bits I've brought with me as well because I'm so excited about them. I'm just starting to realize how silly like the amount of clothes I've brought with me was. Like, it's just getting a bit silly here. I don't really know why I've done it, but I'm gonna unpack and then I'll show you. But yeah, I've got like little cute things like this. This is just a really cute little floral top. We're literally right by the pub as well. Like the pub is like a one minute walk away, which is great this as well like just little cute summery bits really that's really all i've got like shorts little cute summery tops i literally wear this jumper all the time this is from ellie darby's angel collection and it's just this like zipper and i just wear that all the time i always take that on holiday even when i go to like lanzar i always take that because i just seem to wear it all the time i'm really jealous of ellie darby and ibiza i'm not gonna lie oh it did not sound good i just saw that ellie darby's gone to ibiza today and i'm just like oh, imagine being in ibiza so yeah i'm gonna unpack because i'm sure watching me unpack is very boring i just want to show you this dress because it's such like a dupe of the house of cb one that everybody's wearing at the minute it's like this really cute pattern it literally looks the exact same and i got this from boohoo it was about 13 pound i think so yeah i really like that i think that's so so cute my friend chloe picked this because she thought it was really cute and i was like yeah you know what it is really cute and i've also got this little dress as well i think this one's really cute it's just like a little gingham kind of style one. So we're just heading to the pub, which is literally about 10 steps away. I'll show you. So we're now in Brixham with the town we're actually staying. It's literally so cute though. So, yeah, I'm gonna take you around a little bit. Oh, I nearly fell over. Yeah, it's like little colored houses and I'm just loving it. So we just went down to the sea, went in, it's actually freezing, but stop me i feel like i'm gonna have to pretend i'm in like i beat the vibes I'm just go for it so this is the little town it's literally so cute we're gonna go to the restaurant that we've booked for my mum's birthday and have a look at the menu now just to see like how it is but there's loads of fishing going on and there's loads of boats so i just wanted to quickly show you these because we brought these with us this one is from asda and it's like 10 pound i think and when you shake it it has like you can't really see but it has sparkly bits in it look at that it literally looks like an alchemist cocktail, it's so cool. And it tastes lovely. Tastes so nice, it's like our fave gin. I've got that for mum's birthday, that's why we bought that one. And then I've just recently bought this from Tesco, it's the Copper Bird Premium Gin Mixed Fruit, because I've been seeing this all over Twitter. I got one for my friend as well, because she's just graduated, but yeah. We bought these two with us just to have drinks in the little cottage before we go out. And then we're just having these, which are my faves, Sweet Chili Sensation and some sour cream dip so yeah so it's now evening and i had a bit of a duster because i went for a shower a quick shower and my hair was all like wavy as you could see and it literally soaked my whole hair so i've gone for like a low bun this fell left out <laughs> are you gonna add anything useful yeah 
then. What was I saying? You said you were going to add something useful. God's sake. I don't think it's got a bit of hang of it. No. But yeah, my bun is literally falling out. I think it's like a little croissant now. It's not really the vibe, but my whole outfit is from Zara. So this little top, nude, nude jeans, and then like a little bag as well. So yeah, I have a bit of a hair disaster, but it's fine. Um, and yeah. But yeah, we're at Beamers now. It's like a little, see the seafood restaurant. Yeah. Seafood so I'll show you what I have. This vlog's basically just food and drinks the whole time, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. That's all we do. Mini Tesco's for forties. I've got the Magnums. This is some music, not mine. Obviously, it's hard for me. Um, got some sugar and also shreddies for cereal. Just so much triple chocolate cookies because these are my favourite. These are the Magnums we got. I'll show you when I take it out, but look how nice they look. Love a Magnum, and it's pink, so I mean, can't really complain. Ooh. How cute. This reminds me of when I went to the Magnum like store where you decorate the Magnums and you could have anything on. It was literally so good. I had like, a melted chocolate. Yeah. How cute. So we're now back to my little apartment. It's really cute in here. It feels really cosy. Oh yeah, I put my little cardigan on. This is my house CB one. This is it. I showed this in my last vlog, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm just gonna take it off my makeup now. You know, you just really want to get off your makeup and just chill. I wanted to just have a little chat, have a little catch up on the vlog. I was gonna say it's like nearly a year since I've been doing YouTube, which is just literally crazy. It honestly has changed my life. Like, that sounds so dramatic, but I've just loved it so, so much. It really just feels like it's what I'm meant to be doing. I know that sounds so strange, but it's like I've always wanted to do it so, so much. And I've always just held myself back, like not wanting other people to like say things or I don't know, I was just always so worried. My opinions on that kind of thing have so changed. Like I just don't feel like worried about anything I do. Whereas before that, every decision I made, I'd be like, what would this person think of that? What would this person think of that? Yeah, I just want to say thank you really for all your support. I have something really exciting planned for one year on YouTube. So that will be out next Sunday. Sunday after you're watching this vlog, the video will be up then. So you're definitely going to want to subscribe because honestly, I'm so, so excited about what I've got planned. I think you're all going to love it. I've just been watching Ethan and Grayson, you know, the Dolan twins. They've just done a video all about Ethan's skin because Ethan had a bit of acne. And literally, I've seen like tweets about it like everybody's saying he's so ugly now and they like put all the fat in the video and it was just so good to watch like i would definitely recommend anybody to watch because i feel like nobody on like youtube or instagram really talks about their skin or like struggles with like their appearance that much which i feel like should defo change i really loved that video like i'm only halfway through still but it's just so good that he's talking about the journey especially with such a big platform i feel like it would help so many people so yeah if you are having like any skin troubles or like you're worried about things like that then i defo recommend that video because it's a really really good one to watch so it's now day two in brixton you can literally hear the seagulls and i just thought i'd show you my no makeup kind of makeup look for the days so yeah, I think we're going to go to the beach today. I don't know if we're going to actually end up going in the sea or if we're just going to go to the beach and see what it's like. But I'm really hoping to go in because I just, I just feel like I need to be in the sea. But I just thought I'd show you what I do for like a no makeup -y makeup day. And the same as in like a lockdown, like if I was just going to the shops or something like that. If I actually did put like a really light bit of makeup on, this would be what I'd do. So at the minute I'm putting on the, the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, which is literally just like a glowy... Um, tanned product and it's not like a foundation or anything it's literally just like I think it's like a glowy primer um, but it just gives you like a little bit of colour so yeah I really like to use that I'll just put on a bit of the collection concealer sorry it's so loud outside I don't even know if you're gonna be able to hear me in this clip but the collection concealer has a new packaging how weird is that I've had this for literally years and it's never been like this I'm just looking in the mirror I think this is a really good like sort of light makeup look just to give it like a bit of colour, cover anything up you're not really wanting to be on show and then you're good to go but it's also not heavy, you literally can't feel any of this on your face, that's why I like it. I just wanted to quickly show you this because I always love seeing what people actually do like on holiday for their makeup so yeah and again like I said it's the same for like a lockdown day, like just a light makeup day. And then I use this which is the Chanel Soleil Tandy Chanel, that's it. And this is just like a cream bronzer. This is my favorite thing. Let's just put this like in all the areas I want to bronze. 
I just like to go for like a bronzy base basically. I and that's basically it, that's basically the look. I'm going to put a little bit of highlight on as well. I don't do anything on my eyes just because if I do go in the sea or anything that's just going to come straight off. So we've now came to a beach and it's called, I think it's called Breakwater Beach. We're deciding between a quite a few but this was the closest one to us. So we're just going to see how this one is. It's like a little stone pebble beach so I'm really excited. It's not actually very sunny but I'm still determined to sunbathe again the sea. I don't know. We'll see how it goes but yeah I'm so excited to be here. It looks really really cute. Like the water is so so clear. You wouldn't even believe it's in England. So yeah I'll show you when we get down there. I've got my jacket on just because I couldn't bother to carry it but got my book this is the one i'm reading at the minute it's the you are a baddest you are a baddest you are a badass one by jen sincero is how you pronounce it but yeah this is such a good like motivational book and i'm reading that at the minute um and yeah i've just got this little bag with me from zara which has all my little beach essentials in and my glasses sunglasses camera etc so yeah gonna update when we get to the beach but i'm so excited so we just got to the beach it's literally it's so nice it's not even busy and the water looks really clear so we just got some cheesy chips and then we also got a fish finger sandwich which looks so nice i'll show you and salad just been to the beach it was quite nice it kind of got a bit cold in the end so i've got my little denim jacket on now i actually went in the sea and there was not one person in there and i was kind of thinking why is there one in the sea and now i get it because i was literally like so cold when i got <laughs> out but anyway we're going for a little pub now i think So this is Brixham Harbour, it's so cute, it looks like Balamori, I actually love it. So we're now trying to find this place called The Curious Kitchen, I've been going on about it so much haven't I? Yeah, but every day. I've seen it on Instagram and I followed them and then it just looks like they have such cute cakes, like they look so good. And like loads of breakfast, just cute things. So I think we're going to go for breakfast tomorrow morning which will probably be in the next vlog. So definitely subscribe if you want to see the next one. Oh I think I can see it, I think it's that with the blue outside. Found it. So this is what we've got, we've got a little lemon drizzle and a brownie, literally can't wait to eat those, it looks so so good. So I'm going to end Devon vlog 1 here, we just got back for the day and I'm going to start Devon vlog 2 now, just because I feel like it's getting so so long, so I'd rather split it up into two parts, but in the next one we have my mum's birthday. Um, after the next Devon vlog I also have something so so exciting on Sunday coming to celebrate one year on YouTube, so you're definitely not going to want to miss that. So definitely stick around and subscribe if you don't want to miss that, because I'm honestly so so excited about what I have planned for one year on YouTube, like I said last night, it's honestly just been the best year ever. I just feel like I've been so much more myself this year doing what I actually want to do. So yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here. Definitely look forward to Devon Vlog 2 and also the exciting video on Sunday. In the next Devon Vlog, it's going to be my mum's birthday, which I have such exciting things planned for. Also going out for loads more meals, loads more food and drinks. And we're going to go to the beach as well. I can't think what else we've got planned. Yeah, we have a cool birthday breakfast tomorrow. So yeah, I really hope you enjoy it. And I would absolutely love you to stick around, join the little family and subscribe for vlog number two. And also my exciting video on Sunday. I don't know why I just put my hand in the air. Am I okay? Thank you so, so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Finally, like a little away vlog. Vlogging while I'm on holiday, like away, is just my favourite thing ever. It's just the best memories to look back on and I'm so thankful to be able to do it. So yeah, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.